Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get literally unlimited mansion invites in Jailbreak. This cool little trick allows you to do airdrops in one attempt with no weapons at all. It's absolutely insane, so let's get into this. So before I show you guys how to do this, I should probably tell you all how to do it the best. So first of all, I recommend using a smaller server or a private server because that way people can't take your airdrop from you when you're away from it. Second, you must be a criminal to do this glitch the best. If you want to do it the best, be a criminal. If you do this as a police officer, it won't really work the best for you because when you're a police officer, when you die, you drop items and this trick requires you to die and since your item drops get in the way when you die as a police officer that really just makes it harder to do the trick therefore makes it easier to do it on the criminal team obviously it works on the police team but it's just much easier to do on the other teams but yeah that's pretty much all you need to know now let's get into this all right so i finally found an airdrop and i'm on the criminal team so what you want to do is you just want to crouch on a, one of the sides it doesn't really matter and you just want to take as much cover as you can so that you stay alive as long as possible and then what you want to do is you want to start holding e on the crate and you want to see how long you could survive for the longer you survive the better and that's the, how the glitch works the longer you survive the better chances you will have of making the trick work so as you guys could see I am now dead you want to wait until this timer is up so two one choose spawn now I have 10 seconds here and now we just wait there we go completed the crate while I'm dead now we can choose the near spawn and yeah there's where the crate was and we could go ahead and claim the money and yeah you could probably see how being a police officer would have been a problem there because when you die your pistol or key card whatever you dropped would get in the way of the e circle there and you probably also figured out why it's better in smaller servers and private servers as well because obviously you don't want someone just coming up behind you and stealing your crate while you're dead or something and some of you guys might also be wondering well super what should I do if that timer runs out before I open the crate? Well, that's actually quite easy to answer. You just choose the nearest spawn, spawn in a quick vehicle like the Volt Bike, come back to the crate, and then continue doing the trick again. This trick is really easy to pull off. You just gotta get the timings right, that's all. If you still don't understand how to do it, I'll go ahead and wait for another airdrop, and I'll try to show you guys how to do it again. All right, so I've gotten another airdrop here. Let's go to the side of it, crouch, and then start opening it just like that there you go i've been killed i'm gonna keep holding e while this is open one open this menu and there we go we've opened it choose the near spawn for me it's volcano base spawn in a quick vehicle like the volt bike and now we get back to the crate and we can claim the extra money there we go hold e 602 dollars just like that easy peasy if you still don't understand how to do it just keep watching that clip and you'll probably understand it after a few times but most of you guys could probably see how overpowered this is you have unlimited mansion invites unlimited cash from the airdrops because airdrops reward a lot of money and it's just a really really good trick overall and it's really really helpful too if you want to get a mansion invite so if you ever want to like grow grind mansion invites you could just do this trick and you'll probably have at least 10 within roughly 20 minutes and the best part is you don't need any items for this at all no force field launcher no shotgun none of that just your character but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this trick it's really really cool you could do a lot with it make sure to tell me down below in the comments what you guys think about this glitch is it too overpowered does bedema need to fix it what do you guys think about it but yeah for now hopefully you've all enjoyed and i'll See you all in the next one.